Hey there everyone, and welcome to this week's Weapons of Mordhau. Today our discussion is on the Mighty Halberd. Well, for the love of Wumbus, let us begin. The Halberd is a pole weapon that is typically between 5 and 7 feet long. In essence, the Halberd is a combination of a pole axe with a long spike on top, allowing it to be used like a spear. Another distinctive feature of halberds was the hook on the opposite side of the axe head, designed to pull horsemen off of their steeds. Halberds, like most pole arms, were much cheaper to produce than a sword. As such, they were used in mass. The halberd first saw use in the 1300s, amongst the Swiss. Between the 14th and 15th centuries, the Swiss began the use of pikemen alongside the halberdiers to ward off cavalry attacks. It was in these situations that the spikes, or hooks on the halberd, could be used to greatest effect, warding off these types of attack out of fear of the cavalrymen being pulled off of their horses and stabbed to death by the various members of the formations they were attempting to attack. Due to the effectiveness of the halberd being noted across Europe, it became adopted by many of the armies in Europe. Most notably, the German Landsknechte. The halberd is attributed to a number of deaths of famous figures from the Middle Ages. For example, halberds were used to kill Charles the Bold and Richard III. The halberd began to fall out of use near the end of the 16th centuries, when firearms became a much more prominent part of war. Thus, pole arms and large melee weapons, aside from bayonets, began to fall out of use for more agile, smaller swords. In Mordhau, the halberd is a spitting image of what it was in history. The dusk moon skin makes it a sight to behold, and reminds me of the utter joy I get when wrecking people with this badass polearm. Just like its real life counterpart, the halberd can be a great weapon for someone with little training to pick up and use right away. The distance this weapon provides you with gives you the upper hand over most of the noobs that you will encounter throughout Mordhau, but can at times be your demise. Not only is the halberd simple for a new player to learn, and easy to use, in the hands of an experienced user, the halberd is perhaps one of the best weapons in Mordhau. The primary tactics to utilize with the halberd are to maintain your distance from your enemy and stab like a spear, or for even better effect, doing horizontal slashes can get easy multi-kills, particularly in front lines game mode. The stab on the halberd is very powerful, and quick, which makes it a perfect alternative for the slow slashes that the halberd has to offer. This variation in the speed of these attacks is, is of great use in battle. In a more experienced user's hands, the halberd can do extremely slow drags or super fast accelerations. This is because, depending on how you square off against your enemy, can determine the speed at which your attacks land. If you distance yourself from your enemy in the most efficient manner, it looks as though your strike hits nearly instantly if you do a quick excel. Because of its long reach, you can do some serious outmaneuvering and pwn your enemies. I simply love the halberd, so for me it's going to be hard to give it an unbiased review. Furthermore, furthermore, I will give the halberd more love in an extensive usage guide using my favorite halberd strats. Well, let's rank it. The halberd is, based on its design, an all-purpose utilitarian weapon. It has a slashing and piercing mode for dealing with unarmored and armored opponents alike. It has high damage, and its thrust compensates for its slow swings. For this reason, the halberd perhaps has some of the most utility out of all the weapons in the game, thus receives a 5 out of 5 in terms of general utility. In terms of dueling effectiveness, the halberd is an utter beast. It is powerful and long, and if you master its excels and build an agile character while keeping your enemy at a distance, you can pwn nearly all players. The only real cons to the halberd is the high amount of points it takes to use, and the general common cons amongst all the other weapons in the game that are long. You are vulnerable to close range fast attack weapons, but you can always use a kick to save the day. The halberd also takes a while to master and for this Ooh, it will receive 4.5 out of 5 score in terms of dueling. In terms of team play it also shines because this is what it was designed for. One of my most high kill count games, 64 and 3, was because of the halberd. If you stay with your team and use it as it's meant to be, a supportive long reach beast, then chances are you will fare fairly well. For these reasons the halberd will receive a 5 out of 5 in terms of team play. The final category is sex appeal and the halberd has it all. It's long, hard, and thick as fuck. If used properly, it will rip apart all of your foes, and its dusk moon skin shows that it means business. The halberd is gorgeous, so it receives a 5 out of 5 score in terms of sex appeal. In conclusion, the halberd receives 19.5 out of 20 score, nearly perfect, because in my honest opinion, this thing is one of the best weapons in the game, and it certainly is my favorite to use. Well, that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Our next video is going to be three tips to become a Mordor God. 
As always, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want in the comments for next week's Weapons of Mordhau. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.